Hey guys, today is July 4th, 2021, obviously. This is right after I did the, the video on the 880 talk about. If you want to watch that, go back and watch it. Because this one will be uploaded after that one, so. Um, I picked up these old brochures, the Chevy pickup, the, um, like the medium-sized truck, and the Suburban. So, that's what we're going to go through. I got these, if you guys live around PA or... NPA in Ohio or somewhere. You guys probably know about the big but Butler parts of that takes up up at the big Butler fairgrounds. So I got these brochures. I got two square body doors and a tailgate, which that'll be for a later on video. So um so I picked all these up. I paid like I paid ten bucks and got I got this one for free. I paid for the suburban one and the pickup one. So because I've seen them and I thought they were cool. So, um, let's see what they have in here. So this is the 70s. Yeah, these are the 70s, I think. Let me double check it. I'll show you them. On the background, yeah, 70s. Because this is whenever, this gives you all the specs. That'll be later on, toward the end of the book here. But every single one of these tells you whenever it was printed. Like this one here is printed in... September of 73. So. These are. If you guys don't know anything about Chevy square bodies. Or anything like that. But. So after the 72's. Were made. Because they finished the 72's up. Which had a different complete body style than these. So then they switched to the square body style. Like this. So. These are the ones that you can get them. You can get them in a step side. A fleet side. And if you guys don't know the difference, this is what a fleet side is. That's what the step side looks like. So, you can get them with, like, the camper option. And you can get a crew cab dually. And I believe, uh, let's see if we can get a diesel with them. Maybe it doesn't say, but, um... They were optional four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. So. This talks about, like, all, like, the rear axle, the shocks, everything. Frame mounts and everything like that. So. This one here talks about the engines. I'm trying to find here. You guys can pause and read it, but. I believe these had a 350. I think that's what these had in them. I'm not sure. Because I'd have seen the 350 on the top. So. Yeah, you can get a 292. 454, which is a big block. 350 small block. Yeah. I'm trying to see what else. I was trying to see what else you can get, but... These are the Cheyenne series, so. Because they, the, they made the square body style in the Cheyenne. The custom, I think they, they did the custom deluxe. What other one did they do? Silverado. Um, I can't remember what else, other ones they did, but. Um, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to find something interesting to read on here, but. Um, and a little st C, st the little 10 stands for, it's either a C10 or a K10, which, you guys didn't know the difference, the C10 is two-wheel drive, the K10 is four-wheel drive, so, I kind of really got these just to do a YouTube video because I thought they were cool. I was looking at them and I had to get them. So he had a bunch of he had a bunch of them, but these are the ones I was able to. Get. This is the ones I picked out. So um, so these are all your specs for your engine clutch, front suspension, rear suspension, brakes, electrical, fuel tank, steering transmission, transfer case, tires, everything like that. And you could get them. Here's your standard colors you can get them. 
So, if you guys are working on old trucks like that, there you go. But you guys can pause anything if you want to read it. But, hey, you know what? We'll do the Suburban first. We'll do that one last. So, these are the Suburban. If you guys didn't know, they made the regular pickup trucks. They made a Blazer. They made the Suburbans. And then they, they made the bigger trucks for, like, grain hauling and mining and stuff. So, um... Because all these pretty much go together with farming, because a farm isn't complete without an old truck, obviously. And you can make a Suburban into a truck, it'd just be really interesting, so. I believe the, yeah, these are all plant, these are, this one's printed in September of 73, too. I wonder if this one is. Now, that one's July of 1980, but I'll show you more on that next. So, this is the Suburban, so... This is basically, like, the ultimate family vehicle, but for the 70s and 80s and up to the 90s, they made, well, they still make them today, but in this body style, they were made from, like, the 70s up to about the early 90s. So, um, I, uh, I don't have a picture of the older, or the 80s style blazers or trucks or suburbans to show you, but... And I think, I think you could get air conditioning with all these, too. Yeah, you can get air conditioning. It's right here. So, I don't know if, yeah, you could get them either in a K10 or a K20 series. Go up to the 350, four-wheel drive. I don't think, I don't know if we did two-wheel drive on these or not. You can get a four-speed. I believe you can get them in an automatic. Or you could have got them in an automatic, too. But... And it says maybe order with 350 or 454. So. As you guys can tell, if you guys don't know anything about old vehicles, but these are designed basically like the Blazer. Because the fuel tank's back here. And just the way the body's set up, it's set up like the blazer, but just a lot more longer than a blazer. So, um, but I already pretty much, all this is pretty much the same. It just shows different pictures and different setups and your engine and everything like that. So, because you can, you can, because you have the bench seat in the front. You can, you have a, you have a bench seat in the back and a bench seat in the other back. Because this would be considered like the trunk. But you can take this back seat out here and make it like a pickup truck. The inside pickup truck. And you could take that seat out and make it a little bit of a longer truck too. So, pretty cool. So. Yeah, the only thing is you wouldn't be able to haul very much stuff. No, I mean you can, you just can't overstack it because or else you probably won't get it back out <laughs> so these are all this is a Cheyenne too so same as the truck and you can always tell either from here or it might tell you on the outside like I'll just go back to this it'll tell you it'll show you like right here what it is so And there's the air conditioning unit, what they look like, and, oh, what else? And here's all the specs for it, your, en like, a, like your engine clutch, everything like that. And I, I pretty much went over with the truck, so, and all your colors. I don't know if the colors are the same or not. Let's just see. Yeah, they changed, they might have, yeah, they just changed the colors up a little bit. This is the truck one, and this is the suburban one, so. That's what your differences are. That's what the truck looks like, that's what the suburban looks like. The blazer pretty much looks like the suburban. It's just a little bit smaller. But here is the, um, 81 medium trucks, and 
Even though this was printed in the 80s. This was printed in 80, and this is truck, it's labeled as 81. But they probably just changed a couple things in, in between the year. So, as you can tell, this is like a grain truck. You can tell just by looking at the background. These trucks are pretty cool for grain trucks. So, um, you can get them in diesel, gas. You can do the same thing with the Suburban, too. I didn't talk about that, but you can get these in a diesel, too. I'm not sure what year they put diesels in them, but I know you could get them. It might not be till the 80s whenever you could get it, but... Um, yeah, right here it is. Now here's the uh, engine's options for the, the truck. So you can get a diesel with a Detroit, Caterpillar, Cummins, Gas. So... Uh, let's see what engine they used. And here's what here's what the series of trucks that they did for these. They did the C70, the C60, and C stands for tool drive, just the obvious light and L. So um Yeah. Um You can get them as a dump truck too. Or just a regular flatbed to hold supplies on. That's what your cab looks like. The inside of your typical square bodies. Yeah, see right here, custom to locks. You can get bucket seats, that's optional. I already looked through this, I just don't want to read a bunch of stuff. Just to be retarded, because basically, they just might make bigger axles and explain stuff a little different than what the regular trucks in Suburban do. But, they just, they're meant to haul a lot more, that's just all it's to it. And design, they're just designed a lot bigger and with different engines, so. Um... get AC for these too I'm not sure but there's your specs and right there July print per, printed in July of 1980 so here's your engines for gas diesel your transmission main transmission auxiliary rear axles and rear axles I'm not sure how that pronounce that word but that one's single so you guys can read that if you want, so that's it for this one, catch you on the next one.